Hey, this is Jamie from CapsuleComputers.com, and I want to welcome you to an unboxing the Butt Kicker Gamer 2. For those of you who are like me, started with PC gaming, hopped into consoles, and then came back to PC gaming, you might you might miss the vibration in the controller. It's just not something you can really get with a mouse and keyboard. I know Logitech, I think in the it would have been early 2000s, I think, experimented with a mouse with a vibrate with a vibration motor similar to a controller in there, but for obvious reason, you can probably understand why it never really took off. Now, Butt Kicker usually produces stuff for movie theaters and drummers who are looking to be able to, I guess, feel the bass, so to speak, and they've created one of their devices was specifically for the gaming market. So we've got one of these to unbox for you today, and we'll have a review of this soon enough, or maybe it's already up. And I have to apologize, this actually came in a much bigger box, but our delivery guy sit this one in the box in a bit of a salt puddle. It's, it uh, snowed yesterday, so there's salt and water everywhere, and the box was absolutely disgusting. So. Luckily, it was two boxes within a box. Hopefully, maybe another box in here. So, let's kick things off. Okay, so it looks like this one is the amplifier. Let's get this open. The original box is pretty darn hefty. So, we've got the owner's manual here. And the amplifier. This is the remote control. Power and intensity up and down. Sort of reminds me of like one of those massage chair remotes you'd find. All right, so it looks like this is a stand, and oh wait, okay, this one would be the U.S. power cord. And in here is the amplifier itself. Let's just try to get some of these boxes and stuff out of the way here. All right, so we've got the amplifier itself. Let's get this open. Too much damage. Okay, so it is a full amp. We've got speaker plugs here and two RCA for input and output, a power, and the power cord goes here. And in the front, we have a line for the remote volume up, volume down. A high on and off, a frequency cutoff, a low filter cutoff, and the power button. I'm actually kind of surprised how small this power button is, especially compared to these two, but all right. Let's put this aside and get to the main part of the show. Let's put kicker itself. in here, Some cabling, let's put this box aside, alright, this is actually pretty hefty, ta-da, alright, so we got some stylish red and black look, butt kicker gamer 2 and a serial number, okay, so it looks like this is what plugs into our amp here. This is how we. This will be attached to our gaming chair. It looks it, this one fits in any old office chair. So there we go, and that just clips on and then screws in. That actually is pretty simple. For those of you with place seats, you're going to have to get another adapter for this. But this is perfect for the swiveling office chairs. All right, and then we have our full set. Of cables to attach to the amp. Find the right here. There we go. Alright, so some cable ties. This looks like it'll go into the speaker cable ports earlier. And that will go into this one right over here. 
looks like this is more like a safety measure, sort of like those emergency disconnects on the Xbox controllers, the wired ones. And this is your 2.5 jack, so 3.5 jacks into RCA. We have a, let's see, an RCA splitter and a 3.5 to 3.5 splitter here and an RCA to RCA. All right, so if the review is already up, it'll be right here in this corner. You can click on over and see what we think about the Buckhaker Gamer 2. If not, give us a couple days, hang on tight, and we'll have our review up as soon as possible. Catch you later on our review.